I'm Sophie Thompson and I'm the Head of English and Extended Curriculum Publishing at Pearson. In this short video, I'm going to explain the basics of phonics to help you help your child with their reading. Phonics is a way to teach children to read and write, and it involves teaching children sounds which are put together to form words. For example, the word cat is made up of three sounds, k, a and t, which put together make cat. There are 26 letters in the English language, and those letters make 44 common sounds. When your child learns phonics, what they are learning are these 44 sounds, and how they match to letters written on a page. The order these sounds are learnt in will vary slightly depending on your school's choice, but they are not learnt alphabetically. Instead, they're learnt in order, which will help your child to get reading words as quickly as possible. These 44 sounds are then used as a code to read and spell unknown words, also known as sounding out. It's what you do naturally when approaching an unfamiliar word. For example, a word in a language that you're not familiar with. You try to sound out the parts to make a whole word. If you imagine that stare is an unknown word, however, you know the sounds st and air represented by S, T and A, I, R, then you can read out loud the word stare. There's lots of terminology in phonics and you might hear your child or some of the materials you're using refer to some terminology that you're not familiar with. In this next section, we'll help you to understand that terminology. And to help you further, you can also access the glossary which accompanies this video. is a single sound that can be made by one or more letters, and the grapheme is the written letters which represent that sound. For example, k is the phoneme, and it is represented by the grapheme c. Another example is ch as the phoneme, represented by the grapheme c and h. A digraph is two letters together that make one sound. So as we just discussed, the sound ch is represented by the grapheme ch. This is a digraph. A trigraph is when three letters make one sound. For example, the letters i, g, h making the sound i. Segmenting is the act of splitting up a word into the individual sounds represented by graphemes. That probably sounded like a lot of jargon, so the easiest way to understand it is to use an example. For this we'll use the word night. The word night can be segmented into three graphemes, N, I, G, H and T, which represent the phonemes or sounds N, I, T. When your child is reading and comes across an unfamiliar word, encourage them to segment it into parts which make it up. In the case of night, this is three parts. Where segmenting is splitting a word into sounds, blending is putting them back together again. To use the example of the word night again, once you have split it into three sounds, n, mm, i and t, to make the word night, you have to blend those sounds together. In this case, night, night. When reading with your child, once they have segmented an unfamiliar word, encourage them to blend it back together to read the whole word. Lots of practical ways that you can help your child with reading and phonics while they're learning at home. Find a comfortable spot to read in, where you can both see the book or the screen being read from, so that reading is a shared experience. Encourage your child to read aloud to you every day. It doesn't matter if you read the same book twice, three or even ten times. Repeated reading is brilliant practice for learning sounds and for practicing segmenting and blending. You also shouldn't worry about finishing a whole book. Try and practice for a short amount of time. Five or ten minutes a day is more than enough. If your child is tired, struggling or reluctant to read, try reading as a team, taking a page, a line or even a word each. If you take a word or a line each, once you've finished a page, reread it back fluently to help your child with their comprehension. 
Remember to talk to your child about what they're reading. Reading aloud accurately and fluently is important, but so is leaning. So ask questions about the book. They don't need to be complicated, just about what happened or whether your child enjoyed the book. If your child doesn't feel like reading on a given day, try a phonics game with them instead. For example, a phonics treasure hunt. You can choose a sound like t and ask your child to find as many things in the house which start with the t sound. You could try fridge magnets to create simple words and then change them. For example, can you change cat into hat? Or use flashcards to practice sounds and words. You could also reread a familiar or favourite book rather than trying something new. All reading counts. Remember to celebrate success and praise effort. Every word read is a step further on your child's reading journey.